Hello and welcome to the Cisco training video on the bug toolkit. This tool can be used to search for software bugs that match the symptoms you provide. Also, it can be used to view detailed information about a bug that a Cisco engineer has confirmed you are hitting. You can reach this tool by logging into cisco.com and clicking support at the top of the page. Then click Browse All Tools to see the whole list. Select Bug Search. If you already know the bug ID of a bug that you have hit, then you can enter it in the Bug ID field. These start with the letter CS and are most often provided to you by a Cisco engineer as a result of a support case you have opened. The different symptoms of the bug will be displayed along with its triggers and, if there are any, its workarounds. The section underneath shows the versions it has been seen in and the versions it has been fixed in. Any subsequent versions after the ones listed here should also contain the fix. There is also a link that will take you to the page where you can download these fixed versions. This list will not be present if the bug is new and has not yet been fixed. Sometimes, when looking at bugs, the information can be confusing. If you need further clarification, you can reach out to your high touch engineer or your network consultant engineer. If you do not know the bug ID, you can also search to see if there are any bugs that match the symptoms you are experiencing. To do this, enter the symptoms into the search bar. In the product section, you can enter the Cisco part ID of your device if you know it. Or if not, select the model or series option and click the Select from List button. In the pop-up window, select the exact model. You can also use the search bar in the top right to filter the amount of options available. The results are then displayed. These can be filtered further by using the various drop-down menus. The two most important ones are Status and Severity. Fixed will show only bugs that have already been fixed into one or more released versions. Open will show new bugs that have not yet been fixed. Other incorporates many other statuses, such as bugs that occur very rarely and, as a result, Cisco does not have enough information yet to determine the cause and create a fix. Terminated are for bugs that Cisco are no longer working on, normally because the behaviour is actually expected by design and not truly a bug, or because the bug is a duplicate and is already being worked on under a different bug ID. For reference, the bug severity classifications are being shown on screen at the moment. One thing to note here is that feature enhancements are always severity 6 bugs, so if you are searching for existing requests to add new features, you would need to include severity 6 in the search. You can hover over a result to see the symptoms, the affected versions, and the fixed versions without having to navigate away from this page. Clicking the result will take you to a different page containing more information, including the download link for the fixed software. Thank you for watching this training video.